Here, welcome to another part of our interview series here at the Career Coach Talk Show. We have another wonderful guest that I cannot wait to introduce you guys to. Her name is Angela Shakti Sparks. This is something that somebody can, people can use and start to tap into that uh, gratitude mindset. Yeah, um, excellent question. So yeah, um, you know, one of the ways, and then again, this is an NLP tool that we do, but anytime you start to get into that anxiety or uncertainty, um, you know, first come to your breath. So take some slow, deep breaths because when we're anxious and you know that like the chest gets tight, everything gets very constricted and kind of, uh, and so to, you know, like, like bring your focus up from this internal focus and really expand your awareness out and just start to take some deep breaths. And then, you know, it, it starts with a thought, think about something you're grateful for. But again, you know, as I was saying, you have to bring it into the body. So as you're thinking about the things that you're grateful for, with your next breath, start to breathe it into your body. You know, and this is probably because of the time we're in with the whole of the COVID situation, but a lot of people are in anxiety and overwhelm and stress and really the biggest word that I hear all the time is uncertainty. I don't know what's next. I don't know what to do next. I wish things would go back to the way they were. Right. Um, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we needed a, a change. I, this isn't, you know, the most fun way to, to make that change, but it, there's a lot of uncertainty and wanting to go back to the past. And I think that's where people are falling into that trap because you know, the past, um, sometimes we have this, there's the comfort of the past, mostly because it's what we know. But the other thing that I'm finding with, with just about everybody is that really they weren't that fulfilled in the past. You know, they had a lot of that. Um, and we over, over romanticize a past that we were just used to, not that we were happy with. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that's the one of the huge opportunities and it's what I'm helping people through is break free of your past. Why don't you let all that stuff go and create a future that is joyful, that is more fun, that does have more clarity because it's possible, but it's not going to happen if you're trying to hold on to the past and stay in that, just in that comfort zone. You're making me you're making me think right now because I'm thinking about time itself. You know, time doesn't sit still. So I'm thinking about if time literally doesn't sit still itself, then why would we at all if time isn't made for to stay stay, you know, get to one state and then stay there, then that means all of creation is not made to stay in any one particular place or state. It's, it's intended to keep moving forward. So, mm -hmm. you know, if that's the if that's the base rule of the universe is that time moves things forward into you becoming something slightly different, slightly more, slightly ex more expanded, whatever the case is, then why would you over romanticize one frozen part of time because you're not even made to stay there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Great point. 